Since the age of 13, I was probably shaving at least three times a day. I feel like I'm in a some sort of weird man club now because every guy that walks past me gives me like this nod. Luckily, my beard, it kind of masks me as being more of like a male. A lot of people there think that I'm just a hairy man. My name's Aaron, and I hold the record title for the longest beard on a living female. When I was 13 years old, probably going into puberty, I was noticing I had to start shaving my face or waxing it or using nair on it to kind of make it look more smooth. I went to the gynecologist to get birth control pills and the lady um, did some tests on me and she found out that I had PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian um, syndrome. The polycystic ovarian syndrome is where you get cysts on your ovaries and they can change your hormonal balance and cause your um, fallopian tubes to not produce the eggs like they should. So since the age of 13, I was probably shaving at least three times a day to make sure that I didn't have any stubble or I didn't have any um, noticing of for anybody like to look at me and be like, oh, you have a beard. Or I got two legs. But that was literally, the, that was the last picture I took before I went to the hospital. Back in 2018, I injured my foot and I was taken to the hospital and in the hospital I developed necrotizing fasciitis as well as I became uh, septic and got gangrene. Um, all pretty much in the span of a week. What it does is it eats at the good tissue in your um, body and you can get it anywhere. You can get it um, anywhere there's an open wound, it can develop there. So they brought in my doctor. He came in and he said, what do you want to do? And he, I said, just cut my leg where it's good and I'll deal with it from there and move on with my life. And that's pretty much what I've been doing for five years now. So from that point, uh, my blood pressure had rose so high that it caused my eyes to have a stroke. It caused bleeds in the back of my eyes. And then those bleeds um, scabbed over. And so I have like scars in the backs of my eye that cause shadows. So it took away all my central vision, but I have perfect peripheral. The thing that got me through uh, the whole losing a leg and eyes and everything, honestly was that I had a cruise booked in August. So I was going on that cruise and the doctor told me that if you uh, think positively, you heal 3% faster. So I became the most positive person in the entire world. My wife, Jen, she's pretty much only known me with with one leg and blind and everything like that. So she's pretty much been supportive since the beginning. She knew what she was getting into with me. You like this one because it's cheesy smile? Yeah, you don't really smile a whole lot. Or you told me you better not shove cake in my face. And I was like, oh, watch me. Yeah, I did. you did. You shoved it down my throat. Erin's personality is like super laid back. She you know, has a relaxed energy about her and she's just a really honest and positive person. And she treated me like a human being. I think a lot of people, when they see my size, they tend to judge me and she just always has been super positive and loving. She's been helpful with just about everything that I need to do. If I'm struggling with something, she notices and she'll help me. But she also knows how to give me my independence and let me do things on my own as well. Hold you, Jen, it's not a phase. Uh, I don't think anything about Erin is typical. Um, I, we do get looks and she can't see them, so it doesn't really bother her. It does kind of bother me because it's like, we deserve to be able to go out and not have any anyone judge us for who we are. The beard floof is very real today. The best thing about having a beard is probably that it hides my double chin. It gets stuck in everything and I mean everything. So when I'm eating, I have to put my beard in my shirt usually, or I braid it so that way it kind of is out of the way some. During the lockdown, it really gave me a chance to build my confidence in growing a beard. I was telling Jen, my wife, that uh, I was tired of shaving. And so she's like, just stop shaving then. So I was like, okay. So 
I stopped and you wearing masks really helped with um, building my confidence and going out in public. I was very, I was curious too to see what kind of like way it would grow in. Cause I was like, I know I can feel it. I was like, I feel like I could probably grow a decent beard, but it was really hard to get my confidence up enough to actually go forward with it. Here's all the girly ones. Oh, all my girly pictures. Erin's pretty easy to be supportive of because she is a really positive person. I didn't realize how much she was having to shave as a younger person. And this is a lot that she has to go through. And it's, it's mainly just for appearance. But I got used to it and um, I can see she's very happy about it. And that's the main thing. I just, you know, you just want your kids to be happy, so. To be recognized by Guinness World Records is actually really awesome to me. I never thought that I would be able to obtain uh, or achieve a goal that would, uh, would let me be in a book. And it's just kind of a nice thing to be recognized for, even though it's something that just happens naturally for me. I don't have to do anything special for it to grow.